Hi, thank you. Um, I'm Jeanette. <laughs> thank you to all of you, staff and board of trustees, Dr. Lethford. Thank you, Cynthia, for putting this on today. It's an amazing event, and there's a huge amount of people in here. <laughs> now that I look. Um, I uh, thank you for the honor of being up here to speak and um, for Dr. Lefferford for trusting me to do this. And um, I have to say that in the spirit of Antioch, I, I only find the reason to break rules is for a very meaningful purpose. So bear with me and I pray that you will not find a reason to need to forgive me for this. Um, I'm gonna break the rules for a quick minute. My speech is short. Um, I went out today before the ceremony and I went for a run and I kept asking myself, where is the heart of my speech going to be? Where is that lump in my throat? I hope I can, I can produce one because then I know I've written something meaningful. And I was running and it wasn't coming to me and I know my speech almost by heart. And um, here's the lump in the throat. <laughs> And I, I ran past a woman in a trailer, a rickety trailer, I don't even know if it ran, but she was in a wheelchair, and she didn't have legs like mine where she could run. And um, she was eating this breakfast, and I don't know if it was good food or not, but I saw her take a bite and throw it on the, on the grass for it to feed the birds. And, in my iPod, which I'm fortunate enough to have, I was listening to a song called Rags to Riches. And those words went through, right, as I saw this woman and I said, if I should ever be, sorry, blessed with riches, may I make sure that I use those riches to take the rags off of people's backs like that and put clean clothes on them. And that's Annie. Um, as Antioch students, we are taught to communicate effectively and think critically in all of our endeavors. We are asked to explore ourselves from within and reaffirm or redefine our core values based on newfound knowledge of the diversities among us and among our fellow human beings throughout the global community. And I'll just add that Antioch does that, takes stuff from within and brings it out of us. It doesn't put, we do find information here, we do gather information, but it's information that provokes what we know inside and our passion. We are then asked to apply what we have learned in altruistic efforts in our communities and the world at large to benefit the welfare of others and promote the greater good. Fulfilling the requirements of my Antioch education has allowed me to experience my personal potential beyond a level that I perceived possible. At the same time, it has done something even more fundamental to ensure my usefulness in this life. It has given the once uncertain woman within me direction and ambition to use compassion and understanding in helping others. It has taught the rebellious adolescent within me, who you guys just witnessed, that she can make a difference by speaking the truth respectfully. And most importantly, it has taught the child within me that it's important to have fun and maintain a sense of wonder in this life. As for the wise old woman, I'm sure she'll be wise, but I have no idea what my education's done for her yet. Um, this transformational experience and the emphasis that Antioch places on the importance of social change and justice has given me all that I need to make a difference in this world. Finally, please let it be known that the ultimate gift of an Antioch education is learning the value of striving to win a victory for humanity, no matter how big or small, and never giving up until you do so. Thank you, Horace Mann, and thank you, Antioch. I'm forever grateful.